without the use of a calculator this is not easy all right welcome back to my channel so i'm going to simplify this first we have 5 to the power of 11 is minus 3 squared is 9 okay now this is equal to 5 to the power of 10 plus 1 because 11 is 10 plus 1 right minus 9 so this is equal to i want us to recall that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n so in this case we have 5 to the power of 10 plus 1 which can be written as 5 to the power of 10 multiplied by 5 to the power of 1 minus 9 okay now 9 is sitting as 5 plus 4 so we can write this as 5 to the power of 10 multiplied by 5 because 5 to the power of 1 is still 5 minus 5 plus 4 so if you open bracket you have 5 to the power of 10 multiplied by 5 minus times 5 is minus 5 and minus times plus 10 is minus 4 sorry minus times plus 4 is minus 4 okay now this is equal to you can see that this has 5 and this has 5 they have 5 in common so let's factorize so we bring down 5 this divided by 5 5 we cancel 5 and we are left with 5 to the power of 10 minus 5 we divide 5 we have 1 then minus 4 all right okay so we have five brackets five to the power of now 10 is same thing as 2 multiplied by 5 so we can write this as 5 multiplied by 2 minus 1 minus 4 okay so we have 5 before that remember that a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m raised to the power of n or a to the power of n raised to the power of m both of them will work please hit the subscription button turn your notification bell if this is the first time you are seeing us give us a thumbs up if you love what we are doing okay thank you very much <clears throat> So we can write this as 5 to the uh, bracket. This becomes 5 to the power of 5 squared minus, now 1 is same thing as 1 squared, then minus 4. Now you can see we have difference of 2 squares in the bracket. So remember that a squared minus b squared is equal to a minus b multiplied by a plus b. So having established that, we can write this to be equal to 5 So we can write this to be equal to 5 bracket 5 to the power of 5 minus 1 multiplied by 5 to the power of 5 plus 1 then minus 4 using difference of two squares so this is equal to 5 brackets now 5 to the power of 5 is 3125 but some of us might find it difficult to remember now this is the easiest way to do that so you are going to note that 5 to the power of 5 is the same thing as 5 to the power of 1 plus 2 plus 2 and if we use the law of exponents that states that a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m multiplied by a to the power of n okay you will see that this is same thing as 5 to the power of 1 multiplied by 5 to the power of 2 multiplied by 5 to the power of 2 now this is 5 multiplied by 5 squared is 25 and 5 squared is 25 as well. 
So we have this as 5 multiplied by 25 times 25 is 25 squared. That is if you can't remember that 25 times 25 is 625. You can still do it this way. Then apply one of the math tricks that I've always shown you on this channel. And if you are new here, you have not actually gone to my uh, playlist that I named Maastricht. Please go there. You are going to learn a lot of Maastricht. Now we are going to use Maastricht on this because it's very easy. Anytime you want to square a number that ends with 5, all you need to do is 5 squared is 25. Now the first number, after counting 2, we count 3. So I will say 3 times 2 will give me 6. So you can see that I have 25 squared is 6 to 5. Very easy. So anytime I want to square two digit numbers that ends with 5, that is how to go about it. So we now have 6 to 5 times 5. So you can now do your normal arithmetic. 5 times 5 is 25, carry 2. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 2 is 12, right 2 carry 1. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 1 is 31. So that is how I got 3,425 initially. So I will now write 3,125 minus 1, bracket 3,125 plus 1 minus 4. So this is 5 brackets. 3,125 minus 1 will give us 3,124. And 3,125 plus 1 will give us 3,126 minus 4. Now, these two numbers are big. You need to simplify it so that you will be able to solve it without calculator. Remember, you are not allowed to use your calculator. Okay? So, how do we simplify this? We bring out um, multiples of 10 from here. This is what I mean. 3124 is same thing as 3100 plus 24. Okay? Similarly, this is 3100 plus 26 minus 4. So we go ahead and solve. This is 5 brackets. This is same thing as 31 multiplied by 100, right? Plus 24. And this is same thing as 31 multiplied by 100 plus 26 minus 4. Now we can decide to reduce this by assigning 100 as something. So we can say let 100 be equal to A. So if we do that, that reduces this particular equation to 5 brackets. 31 times A will give us 31A, right? 31A plus 24. Bracket 31A plus 26. Minus 4. Okay? Now remember that when you have A plus B multiplied by C plus D, it's the same thing as A multiplied by c plus d then plus b will also multiply c plus d okay so that's exactly what we are going to do here because numbers are much so we go ahead and do that we have five brackets so this will be 31 a bracket that's one a bracket this that's 1a plus 26. Then plus 24. Bracket that's 1a plus 26. Then minus 4. All right. So we can go ahead now and simplify. Very, very easy. With this, you don't need your calculator to find the solution to this. Now, we go ahead and find... 5 brackets. Now, 31a times 31a. So, we have 31 squared, first of all. Then, we can add a squared behind it. So, let us make use of my matrix. Remember that anytime you want to square two-digit number, ensure that if you want to make use of this method, that all the answers you get must be in 
two digits. For example, one squared is one, but I'll write it as zero, one. Now three squared is nine, but I'll write it as zero, nine. Now three times one is three, and three times two is six, but I'll write it as zero, six. Remember to always leave the first digit. You don't write anything under it. Then you add. So we have 961. So it means that 31 squared is 961. So I'm going to have 961A squared. Okay. Now we have plus 31 times 26. This one we do normal multiplication there. 6 times 1 is 6. This times 3 is 18. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. We add. So we have 6, 0, carry 1. We have 8, 0, 6, if I didn't make a mistake, which I don't think I did. So it's going to be 8, 0, 6. So we have 8, 0, 6, A for this. We are done with this plus 24 times 31. Let's solve. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. So we have 447. So we have 744. So we have 744A plus 24 times 26. 6 times 4, 24. 6 times 2, 12 plus 2, 14. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 2 is 4. We add 4, 2, carry 1. We have 6, 2, 4. If I didn't make a mistake. So we have 6, 2, 4. Okay, this one wouldn't carry any this thing. All right. Now, this is minus 4. So, we have 5 brackets. We are going to collect like terms. So, here we have 806A plus 744A. Let's add. So, it's going to be A. Now, 6 plus 4 is 10. Right, 0 carry 1. We have 5 here. And 8 plus this is 15. So we have 15508. Five, so this will give us 961A squared plus 1550A. 1550A plus 624 minus 4. Now remember what I told you. One thing about this type of question is that it looks simple, but it is not simple because you're not allowed to use calculator. And also, it requires that you, you pay attention. Your mind should be what you are doing to avoid mistakes, okay? So, we go ahead and solve. We have this time around, we need to um, multiply out, okay? So, let's multiply. Let's open the bracket. 5 times 961, 961 times 5. 5 times 1 is 5. 5 times 6 is 13. 5 times 9 is 45, plus 3 is 48. So we have 4805. 4805. So this times this is 4805 is squared plus. Now this times 5. 1, 5, 5, 0 times 5. 5 times 0 is 0. 5 times 5, 25. This is 25 again, plus 2, 27. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7. So we have 7750 plus now 624 times 5. 5 times this is 20. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12. Carry 1. 5 times 6 is 30 plus 131. So we have 3120. Okay, then minus 4. Yeah, we are very close to the answer now. Now, remember, recall that A is equal to 100. Remember when we said let A be equal to 100, right? So, A is equal to 100. So, we are going to write this as 4805 times 100. 100 squared. Remember that 100 squared is 1,000. Sorry, 100 squared is 10,000. So we have four zeros. So we just add it at the back of this one, two, three, four plus seven, seven, five, zero times hundred and hundred is three, two zeros. We just add it at the back one, two plus. Now this minus this is three, one, one, six. 
you can see how easy it is so at this point now we basically add everything and our answer is set so I would, use, I would like to add this in columns which is easier so we have four eight zero and five with four one two three four plus we have seven seven five with three zeros at the back one two three then five seven seven then we have three one one six three one one six so we add zero plus zero plus six is six zero plus zero plus one is one zero plus zero plus one is one zero plus five plus three is eight seven plus five is twelve right to carry one one plus seven is eight and we bring down 48 one two three one two three so basically five to the power of eleven minus three squared without the use of a calculator we give us 48 million eight hundred and twenty eight thousand one hundred and sixteen and i appreciate you thank you so much and see you in my next video